Okay, so this is gonna be a short little video, but so after I made uh, my Picade, which I currently have at work on my desk, and it's a big hit with my coworkers, I uh, thought the next thing I should do was build a uh, more portable gaming system, one that didn't require uh, plugging, uh, using the the full cabinet of the arcade machine. So I basically took uh, the innards and some of the design that I had from the Picade and adapted it to make my own little personal retro game console. Uh, so here's what we have here from the outside. We've got two USB ports in the front, uh, power switch, and if we rotate it around, really simple, we've got a power jack and HDMI. So I'll just open it up really quick. I got this nice uh, chassis from a site called Polycase. Works really well. So look inside here, I'll focus. Um, so we've just got the two USB ports right in, um, got Raspberry Pi of course, uh, instead of using a hub this time I have the USB going directly into the Pi because I just power, I'm planning on powering just the two controllers. Um, got the power switch here, have a Mouseberry uh, circuit here for the power again, and there's the power jack uh, running into the, into the power cable. Uh, so it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward this time. Uh, I'm only using a 2 amp power supply, it's pretty much all I need for this. Um, and since I started with the Picade uh, memory card and just cloned it, uh, setup was a lot easier. So, let me go ahead and put the top back on here. This case took me, it took me about half a day to uh, drill and dremel out the ports, uh, a lot quicker than doing any of this stuff for the uh, the actual Picade. All right, so let me go ahead and show how this works really quick. Got the power jack there. Got come on, HDMI there. And I happen to have a couple controllers ready. I'm actually gonna use these uh, Xbox 360 Street Fighter controllers. I like them a lot because they're got the old Sega Saturn or Genesis style three and three and then triggers so you have every retro console pretty much covered with using this kind of controller. It's a little bit different config uh, than a normal uh, 360 controller because they don't report right in Linux, but uh, I'd already solved that a long time ago. So thankfully I could just reuse some of that code and I will go ahead. You now, one caveat is you have to have uh, the controllers plugged in before you boot, otherwise they won't work. They won't. They won't get registered. All right. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the TV set up over here so we can turn it on. Okay. Everyone who's set up a Raspberry Pi recognizes that. I kept the splash screen as it is for now just because that was easier. Uh, if you look down here, I have the two controllers. They're currently being set up. And in a second here, they should start blinking. There we go. Controller one, controller two, right? Which should be how I had them wired. Yep. One and two. All right, so they light up the way they're supposed to. And there we go. Yeah, nice. I mean, I use the exact same interface that I have on the, on the Pi K. All I had to do was reconfigure the controls. Um, uh, I figured that was a lot easier than starting from scratch. So I can, let's see. Also different from this one is I, I don't expose the US, the uh, Ethernet port because I figured it'd be a lot easier. I want it to be more of an appliance to something that I want to be able to make a couple of these and have them around. I'll probably take this into work for some uh, beta testing. Uh, so let's get... Nope. Of 
course, good old Sonic the Hedgehog. So, had the volume kind of turned down, which is kind of loud. Oh. Nope, looks like I got the controllers mixed up. Alright, well, it's fine. So that works just fine. And then I can always exit back out, of course. Um, and that's really useful to have this Xbox guide button to do that. And just to prove that it's also useful for other systems. Um, the primary game, the primary reason that I emulate anything is because I've played this game on almost every bit of hardware I've ever owned in one way or another. I figured out how to get this good old Super Mario World. And because I went with this controller, I have both the Genesis and Super Nintendo layouts essentially available to me. So I got my left and right triggers the way they're supposed to be. Wait, is the right trigger this one? Yep. So. Yep. So that's. Oh! Uh, nope, nothing I hit. Alright. Uh, so that's basically it. I said it's just a quick little retro pie console with uh, in a nice case and pretty much self-contained and of course there's always and I can just prove it like by taking off the top with the lovely mouseberry circuit you can see the red LED light down there so if I hit the power switch it actually sits there for a couple seconds uh, as it's doing a full shutdown and now the computer is off and now I can actually unplug it without corrupting anything. So that's it. Start making more of these.